Well, the supermarket shop is the weekly household duty that can quickly become a chore, right? But at one supermarket on the New South Wales Central Coast, customers regularly queue at a particular checkout in the hope of being served by one man who helps make the experience an enjoyable one. Today's Mike Dalton went along to meet him. A few minutes before 10 o'clock, and Michael Coyle is about to clock on. After filling his water bottle and punching the bundy, Michael heads out to his station to consolidate his reign as the checkout king of Erin Affair. I try and treat every customer like a human and not a number, and that way we can relate to them. Would you like these in a separate bag? And Michael is good at whispering the sweet talk shoppers love to hear. That looked like it might have been leaking. Can I double wrap these heavy glass bottles? Congratulations, Jim. You've just been approved. His cheerful chat can occasionally come closer to concierge than checkout. If there's anything else I can assist you with while you're staying with us, don't hesitate to let me know. As is the nature of the social media age, Michael's fans have created a Facebook page as a modern homage. There will be heaps of other aisles open. I mean, my husband will wait just for Michael because he's just amazing. Kim Nettlefold is Michael's support manager. I go and try and take our customers to another register and they say they want to be served by Michael. OK, so they're prepared to wait. It's just to be served by him. Absolutely. Do you come to Michael's counter all that often? Oh, when I can, yeah. OK. Yeah, he's normally busy. He's very special and I think everyone feels the same about him. We all love him. Oh. Well, the lady behind you in the queue has just said so. Uh, madam, I'll, I'll let you attend to your groceries and I'll come over here. I get excited when I've got a day off that Michael will be here when I come shopping. Really? Yeah. Your mates are all the same, you're saying? Yeah, we all like Michael. My brother Tom um, mentioned him first off to me. Okay. He said, have you ever seen that guy in Coles? <laughs> He's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I actually work in customer service. And when I started my current job, we had a training session and everyone was talking about Michael at Erin Coles. Always good. Yeah. Pleasant smile. And he packs well too. Yeah, that's important, isn't it? It is very important, yes. Very because some important. blokes will load him up too much, too little. It's usually not enough. He does it just right. Okay. So the Goldilocks factor is, kicks in here. Sure does. He is Erin Affairs, salesperson and checkout chick. Of the year. I think he prefers to call himself a checkout rooster, mate. <laughs> We've always been trained to pack them as if they were our own shopping and how we would want them treated if we were buying them. And some go out of their way to taste test a tater tate. So this is the first time you've experienced Michael's service. Yes. Well, I'd better back away and let you enjoy the full sensation then. And Michael cranks up the chat. At the moment I've been busy looking forward to a trip to Singapore in September and I've been working on my house. Service with a smile? Absolutely. With a good looking man with his beautiful tie on. Oh, stop it, you. From two to toothless, all have fallen under the spell of the checkout king. So thank you, Michael Coyle, for making everyday life a little lighter. Have a nice day, girls, and thank you for shopping with Coles Air and Affair. And I hope to see you here tomorrow when I'm back to do it all again. Good on him. He's like Neil Perry of the checkout counter. He's got isn't that he? look, doesn't he? Do you reckon he's a vampire? <laughs> Very possibly. You've got to love a man, though, that cleans his own beltway. Exactly. That's a good bloke. Right on, well sister. Done.